Yo, this is On the Couch at Music City SF. I'm your DJ, Stefan Aronson. Let's get this thing started. Yeah. Mango. Yeah. No kicking over of I did good. said beverages. We have our whiskey, and it didn't get kicked over, so that is a win in itself. Yeah. Um, it's lovely to have you all here. Thank Thanks you. for having us. The uh, the con- the Music City SF is under construction, <laughs> right. and one of the construction workers left his hat, so I was like, why don't I wear it? And I always wear glasses and a hat. Got it just it. isn't always this hat. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Who am I sitting on the couch with? Um. So we are Grow and Twine, and my name is Roxy, and this is Ryan. Hi. And is yeah. there anybody that we need to give shout outs to? Like, do we need to pour one out for anybody who totally. didn't make it today? Um, for Ryan Devasir. Just a little for a Ryan. A little pour little for Ryan. Little, little, yep, there we go. So Kyle Teese yeah. and Jacob Montague. Yeah. Got like a drip. A yeah. D- you each got a drip. Mm, to the friends. Yes. Has has Grow and Twine been two years or more? In San Francisco, we've been a band for like two and a half. Yeah. Almost three now. Yeah. And so prior to San Francisco, I was in Nashville. Uh, and I lived there for two years, and that's where I started growing twine. I got gotcha. you. Was there as like a two, like a duet, two piece, and then, um, and then I moved out here, and then kind of like went on hiatus for a little bit. So what starts? What starts the reincarnation of it? Like what's the what says ah? We gotta have music in our lives. I think it was just one of those things where I was longing for music, he was longing for music, um, and we just thought let's just get together and see if it'll work and I feel like that first night like first song we sang together and we were both just like it'll work Mm -hmm. did did someone say let's get together yeah 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 and like we could have a swing in time yeah okay that's exactly how I I thought so (laughs) that's that's what I would have said but Mm -hmm. how did how did um, you express yourself musically four years ago, though? Um, I didn't. Four years ago, I was battling vocal nodules, and I wasn't singing at all. So I was actually really terrified about the idea of Ryan and I getting together because I had not done music for quite some time before that. What are vocal nodules? Um, they're like these bumps on your vocal cords and I was allergic to everything <laughs> native to the state of Florida, and that's how it- Alligators. Um, Spanish uh, moss. Retirement. Cockroaches. Yeah. Mm. Um, old people. <laughs> All of it. Disney World. Beach towels. Yeah. Beach towels. <laughs> the worst, sand. Everything. Um, Corona. Lot. Florida t- t- to, to here. here. Mm-hmm. Nashville to, to here. here. Mm-hmm. Who's the connector? Who connected you both? Sean Fizzle. Well, yeah, so it was our... It was shout our out to Sean Fizzle. Shout out Sean to Sean Fizzle. Fizzle. I know that guy. He's a yeah. homie. He was he was my roommate at the time. Yeah. And, um, you know, I played him some music that I was working on, and he was like, this is great. Like, you should build the band back up. And I was yeah. like, really? You think so? Because you're on a mission from God. I'm on a mission. Get the band to get back together. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about the new it's Instagram? It's super sexy. Do I you think it. so? I'm a little stressed I like out it. by it. I like it. Okay. It's, it's like, the oh, first shit. update of Instagrams that, like, I saw it, and I thought, ooh, I like this. Do, do we thank Facebook for that? Or oh, my do God, we I think so. Think so. so that means they're going to change it again in six oh months, shoot. and we're going to have to, like, stay up to be up, mm. up on mm-hmm. it. Do you use Instagram for the band and for your nice suits? And we can talk about your suits in a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just kind of use it for everything. I mean, it's just the easiest. It's especially now where Instagram added, like, the, like the switching of accounts mm-hmm. feature. Yeah. I can be on like my business's Instagram, switch over to Grow and Twine, boom, and then I can switch over to my personal and post do something do, in there. Do we do a commercial right here? For no, I think we just did. Nice. Shout oh, out um, to Instagram. If you're looking <laughs> for that, a tailored that. suit that fits you perfectly, look no further. This is where you drop in your little Taylor's keep. Taylor's keep. <laughs> Taylor's keep. I got suits for you. I got suits of all sizes. Our suits last forever. Forever. Ever. As long as you don't gain weight. So I could get I could get buried in it. Marry married him and bury him. <laughs> okay. I want one of them suits. <laughs> you got them? Uh, we do. Okay. I'll I got take plenty one. of them. Yeah. Come on down to K- Taylor's Keep. We got plenty of suits you can get married and buried in. I'll play you a song, too, while, we're, <laughs> while you're there. Oh, that's right. This is a music interview. <laughs> right. Mm. Uh, I have a question, then. Uh, se- segue into friends or bring back our friends. Yeah. Um, uh, we had uh, Corey Tease in here recently. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, cool. nice, nice. And he and I talked a little bit about, like, homies and people that, yeah. like, 
kind of run in the same circle. What is the homies slash circle that you're running into is like with bands and people that like that you tend to open for or or, or headline <coughs> for? Like, what's the? Yeah, um, I think like our kind of like core group of of music homies is like um, newly is is Corey just via Kyle T his, yeah. his brother. Um, so really, like our band kind of got connected through. Um, really like through Jason Stevens and before the brave and, and that whole like crew of people and then really kind of through those guys like you know we met other friends like Jacob Montague and Tyler Madsen and Beth Garber and all these other yeah. great musicians of the Bay Area that have been here for a lot for a while yeah. um, you know you know branches going on tours and like meeting a ton of people have like been able to help us kind of yeah. grow as musicians and and before the brave being in the city and, and working on a couple records since they've been here has been awesome too and so it's been really, really special. Like, um, you know, one of our band ma- members, Ryan Devasser, like has kind of joined Before the Brave and like ha- has been helping them out with things. And like Jason at one point was playing bass for us. And then now Kyle is like helping us out with drums and Jacob's helping us out with bass. Yeah. So it's been like this really cool, like uh, kind of trading of talents. And, um, mm-hmm. you know, and Roxy was even over at Jacob's house the other night, like recording some vocals for his solo project and like, um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's felt really good, like in affirming to kind of have joined like the ranks of these, yeah. uh, S- San Francisco people that are so good at what they do. And like, um, yeah, we just like, we're really happy, um, where we're at right now, just with all favorite band that kind of inspires the sound of your guys' band. Mm-hmm. Is it- okay. So I know that with like the most recent album that we're working on, um, something that we've been trying to do is incorporate a little bit more sound a little bit um more like instrumentally just kind of being a little bit more creative with the different things that we're um kind of putting into it and like my biggest inspiration musically is actually Sufjan Stevens um and I've been following his career um both in music and like written work um for like over 10 years there are these really cool creative bits um just kind of sewn into it and that maybe if you don't catch it the first time the second time that you listen to you'll hear it and you'll think oh wow like I didn't notice that the first time and now it's there Mm -hmm. I'm influenced really by like the emotional side of things like how how people people perform and how they captivate an audience um Sufjan of course is amazing at that as well but really like the two artists I think of like I saw David Ramirez perform solo at bottom of the hill last year and it like blew my mind like um you know he he, he come, he's, he's an Austin Texas guy um started like more as a soloist acoustic artist gets on stage and just c- can command an audience just with himself playing his goosey guitar um and just watching that is like really kind of helped me kind of hone in um our set so I think of I think of David whenever we whenever I think of like more of a, a stripped down sound. And then I think of a band like um, I saw uh, Delta Spirit. I just remember like watching them and just being blown away again, like just by the, the musicianship and how excited they were to just play music. Mm-hmm. And just the whole band like jumping around and switching instruments and just like really putting on a good show and like entertaining the crowd. Um, and so, you know, like a singer like Matt Vasquez, like so good at what he does, just like captivating the audience. So I think that's what I go back to, like those vocalists, those those band leaders that can just that can just grab you and mm-hmm. stop you in your tracks. And um, and so I think that's like what I always strive to do with our performances. So this is the part of the uh, show that I like to call selfie time when I take <laughs> the camera and we start holding it. And that way it gets uh, we get a little more intimate. Awesome. So I'm okay. gonna go. So. This is when the people really like get to know you. Okay. Uh, biggest fear in music? I'm insecure in general, um, like confidence. And so every time I step onto the stage, I always worry like what I- what happens if I am like flat the whole show. Do you have a trick that you use to uh, well sort psych of. yourself out or something? Um, I always have to go to the bathroom before we get on stage, <laughs> a, and I, mean, I don't go. Ad- that's good advice always. Well, and I don't okay. go. Oh. Because then I I have something to think about. Ooh, okay. Right? Like, I need to go to the bathroom. (laughs) Now every time I shoot photos of you, I'm going to be thinking about that. I'm like, she has to go to the bathroom so bad right now. (laughs) That's that's what's keeping her proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is her biggest strength when it comes to music? She is so good at maintaining this elegance that I just have never seen. It's just like she's so majestic to watch 
um, perform. And there's there's so many times, and she's downplaying, but the, but there's so many times where I hear people come up to her after the show, and they're like, I just couldn't take my eyes off of you. Like you're such an inspiration. Why is it that I want to make a pee joke about that? Like I I don't know what it is. There's but still somewhere time. In there, there's a pee joke. There's buried. still time. There's still okay, time. what's your biggest fear with music? Um, my biggest fear, and it always has been, is forgetting words on stage. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. It's a big one. That's so huge. for the first like couple years of Girl Twine, we uh, we actually uh, I insisted on having lyrics on stage. Now you have to give a compliment. Ooh, what is what okay. is his biggest strength? Um, Ryan's <laughs> biggest strength, I would say, is that even when he you know, if there's like a word slippage or whatever it is, he is just so quick to recover. He's able to um, maintain just a really awesome personality on stage. Um, you know, he's super driven, super passionate, um, always so much energy. Sometimes the hat falls off. He just is able to establish a really awesome um kind of like relationship with the audience. Uh, what's your... Uh, one year goal with uh, Grow and Twine. Um, from one year from this point. Yeah. Yeah, one year. From to have a finished to album. Yeah. Have a finished album. I want us to have the finished full length. Okay. Um, you know, I would love, I would love to do like a legitimate tour. Like, yeah. I would love to What's do legitimate? like, you know, like, like a month, like just like okay. a month, like go travel, like you know. How far what, do you go? Um, do, just do Different it all. Different places in the country. Do it all. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like Nashville. US, US tour. Yeah. Um, Nashville would be cool. It, yeah, it would be it would be cool. I mean, like I would love to do like a couple legitimate like music videos. The East Coast is gonna be a hard one. East Coast is gonna be a tough one. Well, we have friends that we could yeah. stay we with. Have and, you know. we, we have friends. We have friends. friends. We have friends. We have lots of friends in Nashville. We have friends. We have friends. We have friends in New York and we have friends yeah. in Austin. Yeah. So. And so if you want to be our yeah. friends, we'll take you. We love yeah, new friends. Yeah, if they want to be your friends, like where do they find you on the social media? Um, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and what's the other thing, Twitter? Uh, we don't no, use we don't really use Twitter. That's we a have lie. A we have a website. Um, We're can, on iTunes. Oh, yeah, we have a website. And I think everything Spotify. is just grow and twine. Nice. And then we should pop up. Yeah. Nice. This sounds doable to me. Hey, this is On the Couch at Music City SF. We're going to drink some whiskey now Ooh, and just cheers. chat off camera. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, guys.